going to present you about National Archives of Malaysia. First of all, I'm going to tell you the background of the National Archives of Malaysia. National Archives of the Malaysia was established in 1957 and has many branches across the Malaysia such as Sabah, Sabah Sarawak, um, Kelantan, Kedah, Perlis and Milford. Even though the collection hold, uh, even though they hold collections at different branches, however, Kuala Lumpur held most of the collections and many branches can be found there. We hold good collection of government proceedings, government reports, bulletins, gazettes, and many more. We provide the crucial references to the economy, fun activities of the post colonial and Malaysia and the surrounding regions. The National Archive of Malaysia's logo designed by Encik Sumali which is a symbolis of Malaysia. Among the elements of the logo that carry important meaning are 13 pieces of paper symbolised as of the country's documents and records. Yellow circular ring symbolizes the officers and staff of National Archive uh, Malaysia as the mobilizer and agent in the implementation of the government of plans. Last, the attachment of 13 pieces of paper that representing the 13 states that from Malaysia, which in effect links the documents and records of the country to its rich historical background There are three objectives of National Archives of Malaysia First, collect, store and preserve the national records that have values and historical elements. Second, provide advisory service to government agencies on record management and record preservation. And last, provide reference and research facilities to government agencies and to the public to build patriotic attitude. Function of National Archive Malaysia National Archive Malaysia became a main field as a nationally valuable archive and research center in Malaysia. Secondly, it's responsible in ensuring that a fact and history of an institution remain preserved as its main function as an archive center to the country and the people. Thirdly, it's identifying, appraise, preserve and make available documentary materials of long-term value to the organization or public that the archive serves. Lastly, ensure that accountability of government by preserving public records and making them available to the citizenry as is legally and ethically appropriate. For the Department of National Archive Malaysia, the National Archive Malaysia consists of Department Bahagian Khidmat Pengurusan Bahagian Perancangan dan Penyelarasan Bahagian Pengurusan Rekod Kejaraan Bahagian Pengurusan Arkib Bahagian Pengembangan Bahagian Pengurusan Penyelidikan dan Dokumentasi dan Bahagian Rekod Negarawan For the unit, display, expansion and marketing Secondly, archive administrative statement Lastly, statement archive Next is the service that provide from National Archive Malaysia First is acquisition service. Acquisition service is the process of taking the material into the collection to transfer, donation or purchase of the item. Next is access service. Access service is the National Archive also make sure their collection in archive can be accessed anywhere and anytime by the staff and users in National Archive. Um, they just can access the archive collection through their website. And the next service is counter service. Uh, counter service is a service counter provide to the user, namely the archive counter is instant to facilitate users to make inquiries or borrowing and returning the collection in the archive and therefore user will be easier in find and get their needs. I think I
Shipped it.